Now the countdown to the 2024 general elections has almost run its course, with poll dates set to be announced by the election commission today itself. India awaits to carry out the largest democratic exercise in the world as a country of 1.4 billion heads to the polls to elect its union government. Now, in light of the general elections, numerous developments are taking place across the countries as political parties are consolidating alliances, they are huddling, they are strategizing with the aim to reach the magic number of 272 in the Lok Sabha. Now, how exactly will the 2024 general elections pan out is something that we will be seeing over the course of the next two months in itself. Remember, viewers, last time around, back in 2019, voting had taken place across seven phases. Meanwhile, all eyes are on the key announcement that is going to be made at 3 p.m. today, which will be live streamed. But before... Uh, we discuss more regarding that. I'd like to take you, viewer, uh, through what exactly the 2024 voter would look like. What is the electorate this time around? In 2019, there was 91.19 crore people who were registered voters. And in 2024, there are 97 crore registered voters. This is a 6% increase that has been registered. Female voters are 47.1 crore, while male voters are 49.7 crore. The electoral roll gender ratio is 948. The gap is uh, slim, but of course, uh, male and female ratio on your screens. And now let's also take a look at a very interesting aspect. This is the first time voter. India is, of course, a young country with its youth uh, being seen as an asset. And now, in 2019, there were 1.5 crore first-time voters. And now, there is 1.85 crore first-time voters. This is a 23.3% mammoth jump in the first-time voters itself. But of course, viewers, we will in fact continue uh, to keep an eye out on what exactly will transpire at 3 p.m. today. What are the key announcements? Remember, viewers, uh, state elections uh, are also going to be announced uh, uh, for Andhra Pradesh in particular, uh, as well as uh, some other key states across the country. Meanwhile, joining me on the broadcast are uh, a host of panelists this morning, Mr. A.K. Mishra, political analyst, as well as Mr. Himanshu Bhatt, senior journalist. I'd like to go across to Mr. A.K. Mishra first. Good morning and thank you for joining us on NewsX. I've just taken our viewers uh, through what exactly the 2024 electorate looks like. And what is really interesting is the first time voters, India is a young country. Um, you know, the Prime Minister in particular has always highlighted Yuva Shakti. Uh, so how do you think this will impact uh, the polls? Thank you very much, uh, ma'am, for calling me, having me. It is really very genius type of, and as well as the interesting question. Not only India, who says that heart beats only of youngsters. This time, 7 billion population's heart is beating, not only the politician, in terms of political event, in terms of economic event, event in terms of global dynamics, military. China is having eye on this election, USA, UK, Russia, as well as the, you can see so many other subcontinent, African countries, leaders, peoples, they are looking on this mega event of India. Likewise, in past, Mahabharata happened. Now the question is this. This is not merely the question of, you can say, the new voter or politicians, but, but also the 30 crore Devi and Devata, God and Goddess, they are also looking. Because of this is very important, whatever the result will be there, it will be changing entire dynamics of India and Indian subcontinent as well as for the first time it will be making the impact over the global dynamics in terms of politics, in terms of economy, investment and so many other things. The most important thing election commission will be declaring not merely the dates but some kind of the strict disciplinary actions as well as the changes 
मे बी अनाउंस बाई द इलेक्शन कमीशन स्पेशली फॉर द स्लिपिंग ऑफ टंग एज वेल एज अटैकिंग और वेरी मच पर्सनल और रिलीजियस अटैक ड्यूरिंग द इलेक्शन कैंपेन एज वेल एज आई होप एंड इलेक्शन कमिश्नर इलेक्शन कमीशन शुड ऑल्सो इम्प्लीमेंट सम सच काइंड ऑफ द रूल्स दैट इफ यू आर और इफ एनी पार्टी इज गोइंग टू ऑफर एनी काइंड ऑफ फ्री बीज एनी थिंग दे कैन ऑफर एज वी आर गोइंग टू विटनेस इन लास्ट इलेक्शन election commission will definitely take some such kind of the action i wish all the best 140 crore people of india because of this is the time when we can change the history the dynamics of global politics global economic as well as the global dynamics Indeed, and I'd like to rope in uh, Mr. Iman Shubhat into the discussion at the moment. Uh, we've seen over the course of the last few years how the Election Commission is trying to make uh, voting and polling more accessible. Uh, there has been a considerable uh, pitch made to, uh, you know, boost inclusivity as far as um, providing facilities for the disabled is um, concerned. There's also an initiative. uh regarding going green so what sort of initiatives do you think we can look forward to this cycle well in future maybe we can go digital that could come if we can use upi and change our commerce and economics we can go digital that could be the one but the most important thing about this election is you know it's going to change the polity of the world whether you like it or not you will have to accept that our average age is very young 27 so the world is looking at bharat as a market which they have all exhausted others see when you are very young population in a self consuming population with about 100 uh, 1.85 crore youngsters who will be voting for the first time that means they have just turned 18 when i say 1.85 crores voters that means that's a huge chunk maybe as good as the population of a small uh, country of europe and when we are talking of 47.1 uh, crore women in this election who are going to exercise their franchise just imagine what is the total population of europe on one side and what is the population of bharat and out of that when 97 crore people go and vote and our voting percentages have been increasing with the effort of election commission in different ways our voting percentage if you notice in last two elections 14 and 19 they have jumped and they have increased last time around we were about 67% i expect nothing less than 70% overall voter turnout this time so when that happens that means you have to effectively understand that it's more than 70 crore people who are exercising their franchise in which part of the world does this exercise take place and for everyone to see see there are there are there is nothing like pakistan elections here everyone can see everything entire world and we have nothing to hide when this exercise takes place it shows the maturing out of indian democracy bharatiya democracy is maturing because in our amrit kal we are moving towards a developed bharat and to have a healthy developed bharat we need to have this mature economy and the mature democracy when democracy matures everything else falls into places as we as uh, mr mishra ji was saying you know I totally agree with him. There has to be some stringent uh, punishments coming for loose cannons. I call them loose cannons because election comes, they think everything is fair. They can talk anything, but unless you set an example in which election commission needs to do, that is the next step that we'll have to take. Because whoever wins in democracy is basically the victory of people, and so you cannot discount. the will of the people in a mature democracy and that's why when this exercise starts by 3 o'clock today coming two and a half months entire world would watch whether they like it or not some might like bharat some might like india some might like hindustan but still everyone is going to watch this 
The reason for that is the stronger we portray ourselves, far they will stay away. They will stay away. But if we portray ourselves weak in this democratic exercise, then people will be ready to pounce on you. So in that way, I see this election a very important one in the Indian history. History. Yes. Indeed, and I'd like to carry across uh, what uh, Mr. Imanshu Bhatt has mentioned to Mr. A.K. Mishra. Um, the sheer strength of our electorate being a sign of a mature democracy in Amrit Kal. Do you think this is a testament to India being the mother of democracy? And do you think it is now time that the world recognizes us as such? You question that we are the mother of democracy. We were the leader of democracy 1000 or 10,000 years ago as well as today as well as in future. Only India will be the mother as well as the leader of democracy. The second important thing, whatever I am going to realize or my heart is feeling that this is not merely the question of elections and political party should go into this and as well as the administrative body. What I think, this is my acid test, this is a litmus, litmus test for 140 crore Indians. The reason is behind that. this is that if all the things, all the electoral process go, goes well, goes well means without violence, without any kind of, you can say hesitation, any kind of turmoil. We will be able to prove, we will be able to show the entire world that this is the democracy, that we can manage the biggest event of, you can say, electoral event of this world. Just imagine, 97 crore people, they are voter into the voting list. And 97 crore, it is not the population of entire Gulf countries, 8, 10 countries, whatever, entire European Union. They are not carrying some huge quantity or in terms of number they are even their population is not that much so this is my acid test my litmus test and it, it will be my appeal to each and everybody not not only from this is not merely the ethical or moral you can say the value or duty of election commission we should not think in this way every indian should think that this is the test of each and every indian this is the test that when we can show the you can say the discipline what is the discipline especially in election this is also the test for the transparency how smoothly and in transparent way without uttering without using a single wrong word hitting word or hurting word to any community to any religious thoughts or you can say the symbol so that's why i am saying this is going to happen as in past mahabharata happened and that's why I used a term, not only India or Indian politicians, but 700 billion, 800 billion population is having their eyes on this mega event of two or three months, as well as the 33 crore Devi and Devta, they are also having their eyes on this mega event. This will be a historic and this will be changing, not only, especially in terms of economic, as well as the military power, power balancing global power balancing. This will be not merely a historic event for India, but Indian subcontinent as well as the global powers. As we are going to listen on each and every day, discussions are going on. You can say new type of economy, new world order. The global world is thinking, globe is thinking how to develop new world, new world order. So I think this will be one of the most important events to create new world order to deploy new world order in human civilization. Yes, thank you. Please. Indeed, it is a very landmark moment. It is the largest democratic exercise that is going to take place very, very soon. And I'd like to leave the last word with Mr. Himanshu Bhatt. How uh, crucial do you think this election is going to be over for India as a historic moment at this point of time. Uh, of course, elections have always been a mammoth process. It is a challenge to ensure that they are free and they are fair. But India has consistently set the standards high for the world. Do you think we will do that once again? Yes, we will certainly do. This is going to be a landmark election. And you know, the problem here is, you know, the best part of the whole thing is one side knows, knows that if they lose, they are going to be wiped out from the map of Bharat. 
that is that is probably the only issue which could lead to so many other things which are not desirable in democracy but then as mr mishra said you know creating a new world order you have to be stern you have to be strong and you have to fight and in a democratic system the best way to fight is through elections and you have to fight that election and come through it now see it's something very different when we say hey, bharat has entered its amrit kal and on the other side of the spectrum you have political forces who are talking in terms of still distributing fees and doles can these two things go together they can never go together but then we have to trust we have to trust the smartness of uh, 97 crore bharatiya voters and how they react have you ever, ever thought that you know 91 crores 2019 when 91 crores out of 91 crores 67% of them voted could you think that why is it that a man sitting in the uh, run of kach or a man sitting in manali or a man sitting in rameshwaram thinks the same way and that's why one party got a huge majority how does it happen how do the minds think what is the connection between a man in kach a man in manali and man in rameshwaram can you decide for that that is democracy because a smart voter always sees what's good for him and what's not good for him what a particular political party has done for him and he decides and he has decided long back this is the exercise which takes place which has to take place every 5 years so we are doing it and this time it will be landmark because it will change the course of indian economics and indian military at the same time the pride of bharat which needs to be established like the yo will be established after this landmark election and i firmly believe that indian voter is very very smart he knows what he wants he knows whom to vote whom to discard and this time he has to discard and he has to discard and let him know that he is discarded that is the essence of this yes all right with that i would like to thank both the panelists for taking out time speaking to us on news x sharing their perspectives viewers we will keep an eye out regarding the announcement that is slated to take place at 3 pm uh, but in fact let's also listen in to what the chief election commissioner rajiv kumar has to say आज की इम्पोर्टेंस का कुछ भी आज की इम्पोर्टेंस का कुछ भी सर आप दो आज तो इम्पोर्टेंट है देश को चुनाव का घोषणा करेंगे आज से आपको पता ही है पहले से तो वही बात करेंगे आपसे फॉर मोर सच वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द न्यूज एक्स यूट्यूब चैनल हिट द बेल आईकन